storm comes a tall, handsome man in a dusty black coat with a red right hand. How strange is your world? On June 13th, 1966, something happened in Enigma, Ohio. Something that no one talks about. Something that led to the permanent disappearance of over 500 students and the closing of Etna High. For over 30 years, the children of Enigma have been growing up wondering what is it that their parents won't talk about. They're about to find out. <laughs> What? I know I heard something. Hey, come back! Chris, what are you doing? There you are. This looks like some kind of report. Government agencies attempting to support, oh, but whoever put this together seems to refer to phenomenon quite a bit. Do you think the government was responsible for the disappearing students from Etna High? Here's what they call a list of ramifications of the phenomenon. Water evaporation, deterioration of local plant life, temperature decrease, belligerent waterfowl. Soil crystallization, the thinning of local civilian population. The thinning of local civilian population? Is that how they... I don't know. Let's get out of here. What's that? Uh, it looks like a chart. A what? A chart. Don't worry about it. It's all explained in Program 5. Program 5? I said don't worry about it. It looks like they were trying to find a trend, trying to find the mean number of disappearances per month. The mean? OK, let's assume I haven't been keeping up in math class. Kind of hard when you spend the entire period flirting with Amy Bruno. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Let's assume I'm not in the mood for your criticism. The mean is the arithmetical average of a set of numbers. Like when a teacher would tell you what the average score on a test was. These are the total number of students that disappeared from October to May. October to May? I thought everyone disappeared June 13th. Evidently not. It looks like students were disappearing throughout the whole school year. Then why'd they stick around? That was disappeared. Who knows? Just another question for us to answer. But getting back to this chart and finding the mean, add together all these numbers and come up with 56. And then you divide that by 8 because that's how many months you have. And 7. So the average number of students that disappeared per month from October to May is seven. Lots of threes. Yeah, you've got a point there. Well, looks like you've just stumbled across... Mode. You really don't pay attention to math class, do you? <laughs> well, Amy is awfully cute. <laughs> Mode is a number of values that occurs most often in a group of numbers. It indicates a level of frequency. Let's see. There are 15 threes. It looks like there's some sort of selection process here. The order and nature behind the disappearances would tend to imply that there was some sort of selection process involved. 
What was that? It's what's written at the top of this paper. Write these numbers on the board. 2.2, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 